Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Bilco number Kit 13-P. This is a two-piece hinge uh, system that's going to include the fasteners and it's going to include the pin and cotter pin to keep everything together. Um, there are installation instructions linked to down below, so we're going to take a look at those. What I understand to be the side wall is going to be the smaller of the two. Okay, the larger of the two will fit on the uh, lid itself. Let's take some basic dimensional properties. Overall width of the smaller of the two brackets, about two and five sixteen. Uh, pardon me, about five eighths. The center to center of the screw holes that might be nice to know appears to be about an inch and five eighths. Overall height of that bracket about an inch and a quarter. Overall projection about an inch and seven sixteenths. The wider of the two, or the lid portion, overall width of that is about 2 and 13 sixteenths. The center line of the screw hole looks like it's about an inch and 5 eighths. Let's check that again. Yeah, about an inch and 5 eighths. Overall height, about an inch and a quarter. It's overall projection, about an inch and just heavy on an inch and a half. Then at that point, all that you're really going to have left uh, will be, of course, the pin that will keep everything together. The cotter pin that will, will obviously go in there to hold it all together. Okay. Whoop. Then you're going to be left with the fasteners. You're going to have four hex cap screws and four nuts for all of this. Okay, Let's now switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Here, are the item, here is the item that we are looking at and in particular the installation instructions that are seen here. Let's go taking a look at that now. So this is really the governing document when it comes to replacing your hinges and you're probably replacing them maybe as a matter of damage, maybe the hold open bracket or the uh, limiting arm uh, that can be on some units uh, were removed and the uh, lid was allowed to hyperextend, you know, whatever the case might be. You know, roof hatches last years, if not decades, certainly decades, and you know, maintenance, repair work, like anything else, is going to be necessary sooner or later. And here is indeed, um, you know, the process by which to go about working, uh, doing a, a refit of hinges. So I'm not going to go through these step by step because the images are rather uh, clear um, and you can read through that. Um, that's how that's going to work. That's the lid portion, obviously. That's what it looks like when it's all assembled, right there. He hasn't bent that cotter pin over just yet, but that's going to be necessary. There he goes. Step 16, figure 16, shows bending that over. over. And then a drawing of what all the parts look like. Uh, this is pretty reasonably uh, what you're going to expect to see with the zinc version. The um, stainless steel version will not be gold in color. It's going to uh, be stainless steel. Uh, the steel version is gold in color because it's zinc dichromate and it's the dichromate uh, zinc uh, plating that gives it that gold tone so you'll know the difference if you have an aluminum roof hatch you're going to want to use the stainless steel version because those units are meant to be basically as non-ferrous as possible but if you have just a steel lid then you'll want the gold uh, zinc dichromate uh, hinge set now, as we uh, continue on, we can also look at the technical drawing, which is uh, handy. It's going to allow you to review uh, what it's going to look like and what parts are uh, available. Dimensional properties have been drawn here on this. Then finally, we have the uh, L-series door drawings, and they refer to the hinges here. You can see them. Obviously, the quantity necessary is going to be based on the size of your unit and you can also see it right here as well. They do show the smaller of the two being the sidewall version. 
the sidewall uh, is where you're going to install that. Um, I don't know why they installed them in that fashion, but obviously they've been engineered to be installed in that fashion. So there you go. Yeah, there are references to the hinge on these. You can see the, K, uh, the KT13-P hinge. The term hinge shows up several times in the document, so you might want to review that. Okay. Now, finally, there is a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all the Bilco products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also, sorry, here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. Pretty handy document when it comes to all things Bilco related. Um, you know, ladder access, um, floor vault type doors, roof hatches in general, specialty products, fire rated material, safety equipment here. You can see the ladder up and then the safety railing around this as well. 113 pages worth of all things Bilco related. Um, now, if you're looking for Bilco escape doors, escape doors are used in residential applications. Uh, if you've got a home that was built in the mid 20th century, it's very likely that, um, you know, there are homes on the northwest side of Chicago that have uh, escape hatches from the basement out. Um, if you're looking for those, it's the one line from Bilco that we don't sell. You need to contact them directly. They market that material through particular residential suppliers of material. People who do skylights, residential skylights, will also do Bilco residential escape hatches. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, this video is just simply meant to give you a visual and dimensional tour of the hinge bracket assembly material itself. Uh, again, maintenance parts are, you know, it's part of maintaining a building that you're going to need to service material. Generally, I find that roof hatches become endangered. They, they, they get into a precarious position when people have removed hardware from them. I don't know why people remove hardware from roof hatches. Maybe to put them onto other roof hatches where they've become damaged. But you'll very often see, and I get photographs from folks all the time, hey, I need parts for this, and everything's been removed. You know, <laughs> I, think this, I think it becomes damaged somehow, and then it's removed and not replaced immediately. But sooner or later, someone needs to come along and bring that back to proper operating um, you know, condition. And hinges, while they're unusual to sell compared to hold open arms or lifting mechanisms, um, they're down there with gasket. You don't sell gasket all the time, even though gasket should be sold um, routinely because every time I see a picture of an existing unit, the gasketing is either su substantially fatigued or gone. Um, when you do hinges, I would recommend that you do gasketing as well, uh, or at least inspect it. The name Bilco is synonymous with this entire product line. They do a fairly decent job at supplying parts and, of course, roof hatches. Uh, good quality material. I've never had anyone say to me ever that their, their quality was suspect. I've never heard those words. And uh, we appreciate being able to distribute for them. Any questions on the Kit 13-P two-piece hinge bracket assembly or any other Bilco product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.